WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. After more than 12 hours on the run, Momo the monkey is now in the care of the Indianapolis Zoo. He's receiving vet care before potentially being released back to his owner. He was captured with the help of IMPD, Animal Control, and the brother of the man who owns the monkey. IACS says they believe he removed or chewed through a bungee cord holding a tarp in place before he jumped over a fence and escaped. It was all hands on deck operation that everyone was happy came to a close. Decided to call the cops because I saw, you know, the, the story about the monkey and, you know, figured they were obviously wanting to capture it. And, you know, I wanted it captured before my kids came home from school. I'm glad that he's back. Um, he's probably tired and hungry. Momo's owner has been cited for the monkey allegedly chasing and approaching people in a menacing fashion. The home now has to be evaluated before Momo can return back home. A woman is under arrest in connection to a deadly triple shooting this summer in Broad Ripple. Marion County prosecutors say 24 year old Kara Hines is charged with two counts of murder and one count of reckless homicide. Kalia Preer. Christopher Wilson and Taiwan Henning all died after being shot the morning of June 25th. Investigators say Hines was involved in a fight with the three of them. A heads up, if you drive on I-465 or I-69 over the next month, Indiana State Police and IMPD are increasing patrols to help slow down traffic in construction zones. The goal is to help officers respond to crashes faster and alert drivers about the dangers of driving in construction zones. State Police data shows there have been more than 2,100 crashes in construction zones this year. Five people have died in Marion County alone. ISP says during rush hour, officers will be parked with emergency lights on in construction zones around Marion County.